This is the future. Sisters of Power has brought a lot of changes to the game, especially in the melee and gun system of Warframe. We all know about the melee nerf, and let's not talk about it here as some of you might get depressed. What we are going to talk about here is about the gun buff which shifted the balance of power. Many melee fanatics became gun enthusiasts after Digital Extremes added the galvanized mods and gun arcane and to be honest, they are game changing and made guns powerful enough to compete against melee weapons and some evenly thrown my best melee combos in the game. The most meta galvanized mods right now are galvanized savvy and galvanized hell for shotguns, galvanized aptitude and galvanized chamber for rifles, galvanized shot, and galvanized diffusion for pistols. Scope and crosshairs are also great, but in the meantime, I rarely use them because of the headshot requirements to proc the additional critical chance. I'm not saying I can't, all I'm saying is that most of the weapons I'm using right now are new weapons and I haven't touched anything yet that gives me his easy headshot and procs the critical chance of both galvanized mods constantly, but I will surely make one in the future. For now, the most common galvanized mods I used are these mods. By the way, Galvanized acceleration is a thing of beauty for shotguns like Tenetarka Plasma. It makes such guns very effective in real missions because it gives more fall off damage range to the gun. The most common in my build right now is having the multi shot galvanized shots, as the extra multi shot per stack is just insane in terms of boosting the overall damage of your gun. Galvanized savvy, galvanized aptitude, and galvanized shot is what I call condition overload mods. They work like condition overload but for guns and what they do is boost 80% of your damage at the max stack, and this damage gets multiplied by the number of status proc that a target has. Do take note that impact, puncture, slash, cold, electricity, heat, toxin, blast, corrosive, gas, magnetic, radiation, viral, and void procs all count for the damage bonus. Lifted from melee heavy attacks also counts as status proc and will receive damage boost from condition overload mods. Lastly, Nuka and Kuva Nuka apply a unique invisible status called microwave to enemies touched by its beam. These are just small details, but will be beneficial for you especially in mean maxing builds. Speaking of builds, let's talk about what you came here in this video because of galvanized mods that increase damage, and arcanes that also increases damage. Past damage boosting mods for guns like Hornet Strike and Serration became obsolete. The thing is stacking damage mods, or in general, stacking damage bonus in your weapons will yield a diminishing return and it's not advisable right now. Let's take for example galvanized aptitude plus primary merciless in a Kuva Brahma. I know that initially, the Kuva Brahma will dish out lower damage compared to having serration in your build, but the thing is, once you inflicted at least two elements, say slash and blast into the enemies, you will gain 80% damage boost. Once you kill it, then it gets to the point that you get 160% damage boost if an enemy which has both slash and blast status procs is hit. In the process, Primary Merciless will also be stacking additional bonus damage for your Kuva Brahma until both reaches their maximum. 360% damage bonus at max 12 stack for the primary merciless arcane, and then 80% damage boost at max stack for galvanized aptitude, which gets multiplied depending on the status proc that enemies have. Not to mention that galvanized chamber will also give out more multi-shot which then increases the overall damage of Kuva Brahma. Now, this open slot would be great for the serration mod but it's not optimal because damage bonus in a gun stack additively. The better option is to go with damage element, and a faction specific mod as these mods stack multiplicatively giving you more damage output compared to just stacking multiple damage mods and buffs in your gun. If you want a clearer picture, then go check out this chart made by someone from the Warframe community named Joe Wolf. It simply gives you the idea that serration and hornet strike right now is no longer optimal, and it shows how you should mod guns right with the galvanized mods and gun arcanes. Long story short, Similar mods stack additively, but modding for different mods give you multiplicative stacking bonus. So, it's better to stick with galvanized aptitude or galvanized savvy plus the primary or secondary arcanes for damage, and don't add more damage mods in your guns. Instead, use elemental mods and then faction specific mods like Bane and Cleanse mods. 
or the primed version to get more damage from your weapon. I would like to thank all those people who commented in my previous Tenet gun videos as you have enlightened me on how to mod guns properly. I was stacking serration along with the galvanized mods which is the wrong thing to do and I'm grateful to you all for giving me directions on how to do it properly. Honestly, with all the things happening to Warframe, you get to forget about features sometimes and I honestly forget about the damage stacking similar to how Chroma's Fury buff works, and why damage mods are suboptimal for it. Again, thank you so much, and thank you all for watching my videos. It's been my pleasure doing Warframe videos for you guys and I hope that you are enjoying the content. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.